Welcome back, everybody, to Next Level Adventures. Today, Zelda is going to break down. So we've just had a complete back brake failure. I have no back brakes, and I'm on top of a mountain trying to go down steep hills. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Now, as you'll see, this is 100% driver error and lack of experience on my behalf. So before we hit the road and things start to go wrong with Zelda, let me share with you the night market in Lampang because it's absolutely beautiful and very unique. And yeah, I would be a complete idiot if I didn't show you just how nice and local this market is. Right, welcome to Lampang Sunday night market. And I'm really happy to report that it's back on and it seems to be back to full strength. When I came here way before COVID, uh, it was like this. And then when I came back last time, when we were doing the 77 provinces, it was a ghost town and it was off. So that was really sad to see. But there's two bits of information you need to know. One is, you see this beautiful building behind me? Opposite this building is the best place to get cow soy in Lampang. When it comes to your table, it looks a little bit bland, but they come over with the ingredients and the condiments and the chopped onions and the chopped pickled gherkins and all of the delicious things that you get with cow soy. I kind of forgot that that's how cow soy is served. At first I was like, oh no, it's so bland. But once you add in all the chili flakes and all of the delicious cow soy condiments, it's a go, it's a go. And there's always like a little kids band playing here and people giving tips and stuff. And this night market is like the Sunday night market in Chiang Mai, except it's 100% local. Let me show you some beautiful scenes though of this night market. It is really authentic, it is really beautiful as I've just said. And you've got to come here, Sunday night market in Lampang, get the cow soy, soak up the authentic Sunday night vibes. And it's good to be back in Thailand. Like a crisp. <laughs> this is the owner, he's wearing a Sunderland shirt. This is our arch enemy. Yeah. The cheek of him. <laughs> if you wear a football shirt during a game, a pint is only 80 baht for a pint of acai. Looks like I'm getting a taxi home. <laughs> We are playing absolutely shite. 2 0. We scored, we scored. That's not a free kick, that's a penalty. Oh, free kick, free kick. Oh, trip yeah, last minute like. <laughs> It's the last kick of the game. It's literally the last kick of the game and we have a free kick right on the edge of the box. Oh, come on, son. One, one. Great game, great bar. <laughs> It's actually not the morning, it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, I'll explain what's happened in a second. But first, plan of action. Here we are in Lampang. This is downtown Lampang. And this is the amazing place I'm gonna take you to. That takes one hour. I'm not a big fan of the GPS thing on the bike, to be honest. It's 
kind of a distraction. Zelda is all ready to go. Got my little iced tea with lemon on the side. How fancy. This is definitely a downside of the fuel tank, the, the fake fuel tank that I have. You see this piece? Remember I talked about this? Um, it's beautiful and everything, but it means I have to get my leg over like this. Oh. You know, it's not that difficult, but because I climbed that mountain the other day, my legs are in bits. All that lactic acid buildup. I feel like I've gone 10 rounds with Tyson. Buying this cheap GoPro mount was the worst thing I ever did. Just never buy cheap stuff, guys. Just spend the money, get the professional good one. Like, look at this. It's already just... <sighs> Stupid Paddy buying cheap shit as usual. So welcome to the base of the Sky Temple. When you arrive, it's 200 baht for a foreigner and 100 baht for a local. And then you have to pay an extra 80 baht to get a lift to the start of the staircase. Yeah, I'll take you up to the top and you'll see why this is not just one of the most beautiful places in Thailand, but arguably one of the most beautiful spots on the planet. pristine and quiet up here. If I'm just quiet for a second, have a listen. Birds, distant bugs, and stillness. You do get the odd bell ringing in the distance because there's lots of prayer bells hanging and they just gently sway in this wind.
So this is where things started to go wrong. So after I left the Sky Temple, I wanted to make my way over the Lampang mountain ridge towards Chiang Mai. The first two hours, however, are on this blue squiggly line. This road goes up and over the Lampang mountain range and I'm just heading towards Doi Saket Hot Springs. Once I get to Doi Saket Hot Springs, that's usually where I just get a drink. So as I started to make my way up, this windy road. Zelda was acting up a little bit. She was very noisy. I think she's a little bit underpowered and overweighted for a very steep country road like this. I wouldn't recommend coming this way by the way. I don't know why Google Maps told me to come this way. It was very very rural and difficult driving and everything was going okay until I started to come down. I have a foot brake and a front ABS brake. Now, usually, on Dreamy anyway, you don't really use the front brake, you use your foot brake. And the front brake is usually just an emergency. So I didn't use the ABS brake at all, I was just using my back brake and eventually, I don't know how this happened, but it just completely stopped working. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Look. I have no back brake. Look. Watch this, ready? Look, I'm pushing down. Absolutely nothing. But luckily, my front brake is working. So we've just had a complete back brake failure. I have no back brakes and I'm on top of a mountain trying to go down steep hills. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Ah. Zelda has broken down in the worst possible place. Brilliant. I'm definitely not comfortable driving down a hill uh, with one brake. Even though it is the front brake and it's ABS and they're really good, um, the back brake's a drum brake. I still don't feel comfortable going downhill uh, with one brake because if, that's, if that breaks, then it's potentially like extremely dangerous, not just stupid, extremely dangerous. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, Paddy, what are you doing? You've still got your front brake and you can brake on your engine. You can just go into first gear and coast down these hills. And my answer to that is yes, I know. At the time, however, I wasn't thinking straight. I thought I'd snapped my back brake and that I wasn't comfortable driving downhill on the engine with a front brake on this slippy, gritty road. I'd kind of lost confidence in the bike, in the tires, and I just wanted to get rescued there and then. Uh, I sent the location on Facebook Messenger already, somewhere near the, somewhere near the waterfall. Not, not far, not far away. Um, I have no brakes, like I can't, I can't use my brake, my back brake is broken, so it's too dangerous to drive my motorbike down the hill. Okay, so I called the accommodation and they've been very helpful. Someone's going to try and find a truck or a car to come and pick up the bike. Um, I'm going to have to pay, obviously, um, for someone to come and rescue Zelda and someone working at the accommodation is gonna come and pick me up on a motorbike, I think. I think that's what's happening. In hindsight, I could have easily have shifted it into first and just coasted down using the ABS brake if I needed it, gone slow and made it pretty easily. And then we could have addressed the back brake later. I definitely didn't need to get rescued. I definitely panicked. 
I definitely learned something on this particular ride. But if you're experienced, you're probably laughing, thinking, what the hell am I watching? I'm sorry. Please remember, okay, guys, I'm not a good motorcyclist. Yes, I'm experienced, but I still don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's heavy. And I've got one good arm. God, you're strong as an ox. <laughs> I do not know how he got that in there. I can barely help him with, I've got, I don't know if you know, but I have a metal wrist. So my left arm is useless. <laughs> got one good arm, it's this one. But this guy's 10 times stronger than me. You went long time? Ah, uh, half an hour. How about oh. But thank you for coming. Just yeah, my break. Uh, Just stop. And this road is so dangerous. Because you take a break. It's long, long, long time. Long. Yeah, uh, maybe. Because maybe. it's... Uh, I don't know. Mountain is long, long it, way. Again. Yeah, I yeah. know. It's yeah. too much hot. Oh, you think maybe the brakes overheated? Uh, okay. It felt like they snapped, but we'll see. I don't know much about brakes, but I've never pushed down on a brake and not had anything. <laughs> so maybe they've worn out, maybe they got overheated, I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, we've made it to the resort. I had a bit of a power nap, I'm so tired. He's going to keep the bike in the truck and tomorrow we're going to drive to a mechanic. Okay. So I can just leave pretty much everything here. Zelda, I'll see you tomorrow, babe. All right, we'll, we'll get you fixed tomorrow. I know, I'm sorry you can't come to the nice resort. Um, yeah, they're smelly. I'll hold them. <laughs> I'll, I'll carry that. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, okay. So I found this accommodation on Facebook and it's called something something glamping and it's very expensive and I thought oh I'll drive through Lampang mountains and I'll stay here and it will be so romantic and so luxury and it, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful but I my body is completely destroyed my toes are covered in blisters. My muscles in my legs don't work anymore. I'm exhausted and Zelda's broken down and I'm carrying a plastic bag with the most smelliest trainers I've ever smelled in my life. They are so bad. I'm embarrassed to say that they're mine. And all I hope is that this room has some kind of noodles in a pot, like pot noodles and maybe a cold beer because all I'm doing is, is crashing out big time. And I've just realized, and there he is driving away up the mountain. In the back of my bike is all of my cameras, like my nice camera and my nice drone. So I can't even take a nice picture or get anything. Ugh, what an absolute joke. <laughs> oh, well, at least I can just enjoy it. Wow, it's right on the river here. On Facebook, I saw really nice photographs and you clearly need a drone. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll fly my drone. It'll be amazing. Get a great thumbnail. But no. 
Oh my god, there's a bathtub. Wow. Thank you, Nah. Okay, do you have any uh, food? Yeah. I'm so hungry. Okay, okay. It's a good job that I didn't like get this place for free in exchange for a review on YouTube or something. Because I've done that once before in Krabby with Miss P. And I didn't really like it. I didn't like the feeling of having to be like super positive. Um, that's not to say that this place isn't super positive. So far it's incredible and I'll show you around in a minute. But just turning up, covered in mud, carrying disgusting smelly trainers, a broken motorbike and now all my cameras have gone. If I was a media person staying on a media stay, they would have been pretty upset with me. Let me show you around. Um, big beanie bag, very cool, lovely jubbly. Massive bed. Let's just quickly test it. Oh yeah, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, that's worth it, that is incredible. Pillows are gonna be next level. I like all the decor. I like the Marshall speaker, the little minimal fan, the potted plants, and uh, they've even got some really high-end coffee making stuff. And then up the stairs, it looks like that you can even have some friends stay. So, I mean, I would probably say you could have a whole family in here. Mum and dad, brother and sister. We've got a fake fireplace oh i'll turn that on tonight oh one thing i must say is the room smells incredible so this perfume in here it smells absolutely incredible oh i've just noticed the light fittings on the roof there's also an indoor bath in case you don't want to do the outdoor one because it has just started raining <laughs> and then there's a beautiful wooden door that opens up into a bathroom toilet and uh there's a shower and nice nice and tiled it's very, very Instagrammable. It's very, very influencer. Oh my gosh. And uh, if I had the drone right now, you could see more of the scale of this place and you could, we could spy onto the people next door. But for now, my GoPro is about to overheat. And there's a giant bug outside. Not bad. Let's eat and then let's get in the bath. So, it looks like a kid's meal. <laughs> this is the smallest burger I've ever seen. Look, the food options weren't great. Chicken nuggets, spaghetti carbonara, or whatever the hell that is. I'll try it, I'm hungry, whatever. It tastes good, really good, but it's just too small. It's like a child's portion. Oh my God, that smells absolutely amazing. And look at it, wow. <laughs> Very impressed.
I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty unique and pretty special to be taking a hot bath next to this beautiful river and this cabin thing. I'm so What you're not seeing <laughs> is that my GoPro turns itself off every 15 seconds because this GoPro glitches when it's on low battery. So no, fa so, no fancy footage and I'm gonna have to just un I mean, it's, it's actually turning itself off every seven seconds now. Yay! What's funny is the rooms up there can definitely see me and I'm naked. Plus, the staff, that's their, that's their building. They can see me. This is so funny, vlogging in seven second intervals. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna... Welcome back. <laughs> so this is me for the night. Enjoy your day. Well, I missed it up. I don't have time to So this is me for the evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, GoPro. I love you.